dear student, today I present a topic called Economic Importance of Plants of Silkworm. Introduction Silkworm is an important agro based labor intensive export oriented cottage industry introduced to India more than 200 years ago. In fact, it was Tipu Sultan, the king of Mysore, who organized this industry in 1780. This industry consists of three sectors that are linked to one another like a chain. They are mulberry cultivation, silkworm rearing, reeling of cocoons, silk twisting and silk weaving. Mulberry belongs to the genus Morus of the family Moresi, the biggest family in the order articles. Linnaeus established the genus Morus with seven species wise Morus alba, Morus nigra, Myrus rubra, Morus indica, Morus tartarica, Morus peripera, and Morus tinctoria. The last two species were later considered to represent distinct genera Brassonita and Chlorophora, respectively. Subsequently, a large number of new species, new varieties, and forms have been described from different parts of the world. Today, Moros comprises of about 68 species distributed both in tropical and temperature agroclimatic condition. However, the identity and nomenclature of the species of Moros is so confusing the number of species growing in the world keep fluctuating. The species of Moros being highly heterozygous and as unisexual plants produce a number of natural hybrids with many intermediate forms which create difficulties with regard to their correct taxonomic delimitations. Regarding the origin of Morus, Parker opined that the genus was probably indigenous to China and was later naturalized to West Asia, Southern Europe and America. Janaki Amal considered China as the center of its origin. There are about 68 species in the genus Morus. Majority of them occur in Asia, especially in China and Japan. Continental America is also rich in its Morus species. The genus is poorly represented in Africa, Europe and Middle Asia East and it is unrepresented in Australia. Thus, one can witness a great varied distribution pattern of the species, varieties and forms of the genus on this globe. For sericulture operation, mulberry trees are cultivated, leaves are only source of food for silkworms and cocoons are produced for making silk cloth. Besides the cocoons, various other products are also obtained, the utility of which is being intensely studied. A part of the findings of this study has already been implemented. Some of the byproducts are found to be useful. In case of the mulberry plants, the root, shoot, unfecular leaves, fruits and seeds are used in several ways. Out of 68 species, 7 species are distributed in worldwide the genus Morus represented in India by four species and several varieties are valued for their foliage which constitutes the leaf chief food for silicone bombix mori. The economic importance of mulberry can be effectively utilized in a big way to increase farmers income and consumption of natural resources. Mulberry is an outstanding bioenergy plant. In addition to being Fed to the silkworms, mulberry is used in industry, medicine, aquaculture, agroforestry, social forestry, watershed management and drought prone area developmental program. Different parts of mulberry like root, stem, leaf, fruits and seeds are now drawing attention of the silkworms to be exploited for by products such as sports goods agricultural implements, households, items, paper pulp and dyeing materials. Mulberry plants are delicious, tart, sweet and succulent fruits belonging to the genus Moros. About 
10 to 16 species of the morris trees or yield mulberries of which 3 species of economic importance are recognized and they are as follows. White mulberry, Mora salva a native of eastern and central China. Red mulberry, Mora subra a native of eastern United States. Black mulberry, Mora negra a native of western Asia. Mulberry plants are now grown in worldwide. It is a rapid grower initially and slow later. The plant is about 25 to 40 feet in height. Objectives It is of key importance for the growth of national economy. To seize the emerging opportunities for combining such economic development objectives with poverty reduction. Support of subsistence agriculture alone. Effective poverty reduction requires market-oriented intervention, effective linkages with market opportunities and innovatives that can generate multiplier effects in the economy. Rehabilitation and development of the export crop subsector and the maximization of the related foreign exchange earnings are the key factors of sustainable economic growth and balance of the payment equilibrium. It has good potential for significantly increasing the quantity and value of the traditional export crops and for diversifying the production of cash crop to meet both export and local market demand. There is a scope to increase silk production, expand processing facilities and improve marketing. Diversification of cash crop production is possible wherever local and export market demand exists. Cash crops include selected tropical fruits, silks from mulberry silkworms. These new sectors would provide employment to many poor peoples. The root, it is underground part of the mulberry and above the ground part that is branches and leaves depends on each other for existence. A developing root system with a strong capacity for absorption will promote the luxuriant growth of the branches and leaves. Uses of Root Root Bark The root bark is used for restorative tonic and as remedy for nervous disorders, for J2 and anthelmintic. Alkaline deoxygenation is extracted from the root bark of the mulberry in Morus nigra and is supported to the effective against AIDS virus. However, the alkaloid activity is not clearly known. It induces the attacking of HIV and the human cell. Root juice Yellow dyes is obtained from the roots of mulberry and used in dyeing process. The entire root is utilized in blood circulation medicines. The juice of the root is used to treat effectively lower the blood pressure. Latex is used as a plaster for sores and in skin cream. Root juice constitute is soluble in water as well as in alcohol and is fairly heat stable. Experiments on rabbits reveal that there is an increase in the rate of lowering the blood pressure as the quantity of mulberry root bark fed to the rabbits is increased and the low blood pressure condition remains stable for a considerable length of the time. However, if the amount of bark is fed to rabbits exceed a certain quantity, then the decrease in blood pressure is no longer proportionate. In an experiment in which the animals are administered either hot water extract or alcohol extract of mulberry roots. It is found that the alcohol extracts as far more effective in lowering the blood pressure than the hot water extract. The blood pressure falls to the minimum within a very short time when the alcohol extract is administered. The rate of decline is high and restoration of normal blood pressure is rapid. The stem, the trunk, branches and twigs of the mulberry trees are called the stem. Their principal function is transporting water and mineral salts upwards and products of photosynthesis and other organic matter downwards. Uses of stem bark 
Black striped bark from waist branches are used for paper pulp especially in China and Europe. 14% caustic soda solution and bleaching with 5% active chlorine gives a product called the pulp is obtained. It is white and soft fiber suitable for use in the industry is extracted from the bark. It is a plast fiber of phloem available in the bark which consists of cellulose, lignin and pentose sugar and used in manufacturing of fiber. It contains sugar, polysteroid, fatty acid and phosphoric acid. Artificial leather can also be made by processing the mulberry bark and can be used for making ropes, nets, etc. Uses of stem Thin and soft twigs can be used for making basket like handicrafts. The pruned shoots are used to mulching process in newly planted mulberry garden. The mulberry shoots are widely used in agricultural farms as firewood and fuel. The shoots are either used as they are after changing them into mulberry coal. It is advisable that the outer covering of the shoots is removed for some other use and only its central part of it used as fuel. Aqueous and alkali extract of stem and leaves are active against bacteria and yeast. From the phloem of mulberry shoots, cotton fibers can be produced and used as a supplementary cotton. Fibers for use in spinning and jute like fibers are also being produced. While diverse use of the mulberry shoots have been demonstrated by research work, detailed study on the use of mulberry pulp has also been carried out. Uses of Wood The mulberry wood is valuable mainly used for the making, scaffolding, furniture, paneling, plywood and ties on account of its elasticity and flexibility. The wood pieces are used in antiseptic treatment. It is compared with the teak wood as regards to shock resistant ability, strength, hardness, etc. The timber is to produce hockey sticks, tennis rockets, badminton, and sports materials. Wood is also suitable for home building, agricultural implements, and furniture. It is also used for spokes, poles, and bent parts of carriage and cars. The wood is suitable for low grade plywood and for turnering and also tea boxer wood even used for small boat and large ship as it is strong, elastic, durable and free from defects. Extract prepared for the wood are considered suitable for tanning purpose. Further, Morus Levigata and Morus Nigra are cultivated for their delicious fruits and Morus Sarreta as common timber tree of North India where the wood is used mainly for manufacture of sports goods and fancy items. There are differences in the various components based on the varieties of mulberry plants. The fiber contents also vary in the different mulberry varieties. The result of examining 11 varieties of mulberry indicate that even the alpha fiber content varies in the range of 28 to 44. Even in the same variety of mulberry, the ratio of various components varies according to the season, but the seasonal variation in the chemical constituents of mulberry shoots are very less. Among the various substances extracted from the mulberry shoots are many which are effective in improving hair growth in higher animals. In experiments using some of these substances on angora rabbits and colidella sheep, the fur growth improved to 111 to 115 units in rabbits and to 107 to 107 units in sheep as against 100 units in the control animals. It is not yet clear as to which substance present in the mulberry suit is effective in this manner. It could possibly be polyphenol or its derivatives. Besides a combination of certain substances, 
possibly polysaccharides including pectin and glucose forms a viscous material which is responsible for making the skin and ear soft. Mulberry leaves The foliage of mulberry plant is used mainly as inocuous source of silkworm for feeding and cultivated in over 40 countries. Leaves from an important organ of the plant where it carries out physiological activities like photosynthesis, transpiration and respiration. The quantity and quality of the output of mulberry leaves directly affect cocoon quality and production. Uses of leaves Mulberry plant, the sole food plant of silkworm is drought resistant shrub or tree which could be grown in varieties of soil both under irrigated and rain fed condition. Where the other crops cannot grow, there the farmer can grow mulberry and earn livelihood by understanding sericulture. In drought conditions, when most of the agricultural crops do not receive even after a few showers, mulberry being perennial crop will sprout and yield leaves for silkworm throughout the year. Mulberry leaves remaining in the plant in late autumn and wastage of leaves up to the much extent and is used for feeding other animals. Leaf contains 13.63% of protein, 3.53% fat, 13.73% fiber, calcium, phosphorus and magnesium. They also contain antioxidant particularly the anthocyanins and flavonoids and 18 amino acid. A large number of cattle, particularly in hilly areas, cannot be maintained in the fodder produced and available land alone. Cattle feed on mulberry leaves have been found to be improved their milk yield in hilly region. It can be meet the maintenance requirement of adult sheep. Mulberry leaves are valuable sources of vitamins, biotin, and improve the health of the poultry, birds and increases in egg production. Remnant of leaf stock after silkworm feeding can also be used for feeding cattle without any adverse effect in their health. A good quality leaf is same time is eaten as vegetable due to high protein content. The mulberry leaves are valuable sources of vitamin from an excellent supplement to the Protein to different diet, chlorophyll extracted from leaves is used for cosmetics example soap, air oil, toothpaste and are also for medicine. Mulberry leaves are also used to feed goats, rabbits for example have a great liking for a mulberry leaves and they grow well when fed on them. Their body weight and growth of the fur are said to be much better when mulberry leaves are supplied to them as feed rather than dried grass. This is probably due to the better nourishment provided by the mulberry leaves. The rabbits feed on mulberry leaves accumulate more fat and less water content in their muscles. When mulberry leaves are given to mountain sheep, they feed well and this increases their milk yield. In fact, the milk is tastier and more concentrated than when the sheep are fed on other leaves. Therefore, after the completion of silicon rearing in late autumn, which is the last rearing season, if mulberry leaves are still lost in the mulberry garden, these can be judiciously utilized as cattle feed. Mulberry tea Mulberry leaves are used for preparing a decoction known as mulberry tea used for throat infection. It is free from caffeine. Usually the tea is prepared only with mulberry leaves, but some people prefer to boil mulberry roots and stem to prepare a broth which is said to be effective in lowering the blood pressure. Mulberry tea may be slightly laxative controls the inflammations of the mucous membrane of the respiratory tract. The tea relieves cold, cough through infectious inflammations of the eyes, liver and lungs problem supposed to prevent oxidation of cholesterol, consequently keeping the arteries free of fat deposits and ends hardening of arteries. 
preparation of mulberry tea. Boil about 200 to 250 ml of water, add 1 teaspoon of mulberry tea powder. Leave boiled mixture for 3 to 5 minutes. After drink, it may taste sweet to bitter. This mulberry tea can be taken 2 to 3 days, 2 times per day. Fruits Mulberry fruits are not a simple fruit, but it is a composite fruit as in the entire implosion develops into a fruit. When unripe, the fruits are white, green or pale yellow with the edges pink. When mature, they can be red to dark purple, almost black in color. The white mulberry fruit is actually white to pink when mature. The darker variety of fruit has a stronger flavor than the white variety. Uses of fruits Fruit is an eaten as a food and also used for making juice, jelly, jam, sauces, muffins, cakes, cookies, tarts, pies, wines, ice creams, and smooths. It contains malic acid, citric acid, pectin, and mucilage. Juice may be used as drinking in fever diseases. It checks thrust and cools the blood. Mulberry fruit are sold in other forms as health supplements. Fruits are also used to extract the colorful pigments, anthocyanins, which are used as natural food colors. It may fermentation to produce an intoxicated beverage. Seeds it contains 25 to 30 percent of yellow drying oil and liquid fatty acid, constitute the major parts of the total fatty acid of the oil. Healthy benefits of mulberry. In an Ayurvedic medicines, various parts of the mulberry plant are used. From the leaves, a gargle is prepared for throat infection. Mulberries reduce the cholesterol, prevent blood clots, heart palpitation, etc. It aids in weight loss, build immunity, benefit the digestive system and eyesight, relieve constipation and enhance appetite and check anemia. It enhances ear growth, smooth the nerves, relieve tiredness and fatigue. It benefits in gastric, dizziness, hepatitis and insomnia. It controls excessive thrust, relieves phlegm, purifies the blood. Consuming mulberries during the hot season benefits in blood desert and has a cooling effect on the body. Excessive yellowness of the urine is controlled by consuming mulberry juice to which sugar has been added. In mouth ulcer and enlarged gland, gargle with a solution of mulberry sorbet. Add 1 teaspoon of mulberry sorbet to a cup of water to make this solution. Delicious, fleshy, succulent mulberries are low in calories that is just 43 calories per 100 grams. They contain healthy promoting phytonutrient components like polyphenol, pigment antioxidant, minerals and vitamins that are essential for the optimum health. Mulberries have significantly high amounts of phenolic flavonoid phytochemical called anthocyanins. Scientific studies have shown that consumption of berries have potential health effects against cancer, aging and neurological diseases, inflammation, diabetes and bacterial infection. The berries contain rivocetol, another of Polyphenol flavonoid is an antioxidant. Rivocetol protects against stroke risk by altering the molecular mechanism in the blood vessels, reducing their susceptibility to damage through decreased activity of angiotensin and increased production of the vasodilator hormone and nitric oxide. In addition, these berries are an excellent source of vitamin C, which is also a powerful natural antioxidant. Consumption of food rich in vitamin C helps the body develop resistance against infectious agents, counter inflammation, and scavenge harmful free radicals. Further, 
the berries also contain small amount of vitamin A, vitamin C and in addition to the above mentioned antioxidants, consumption of mulberry leaves provides another group of health promoting flavonoid polyphenolic antioxidants such as lutein, zeaxanthin, beta carotene and alpha carotene in a small quantity but notably significant amount. All together these compounds help act as a protect from harmful effects of oxygen derived free radicals and reactive oxygen species that play a role in aging and various disease processes. Zeaxanthin, it is important dietary carotenoids selectively concentrates into the retinal macula lutea, where it thought to be provide antioxidant functions and protects the retina from the harmful ultraviolet rays through light filtering action. Mulberries are an excellent source of iron, which is a rare feature among berries, contains 1.85 mg per 100 grams of fruits. Iron being a component of hemoglobin inside the red blood cells determines the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. Nutrients in mulberry Mulberries are a literal powerhouse of nutrition. They are very rich in B complex group of vitamins and vitamin K contain very good amounts of vitamin B6, niacin and folic acid. These vitamins are functions as cofactor and help body in the metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins and fats. Also serves as an excellent source of the antioxidants, xanthine, lutein and to lesser extent of alpha and beta carotene. Good levels of fiber, riboflavin, phosphorus, copper, magnesium and calcium are also found in mulberries. They are also a good source of minerals like potassium, manganese and magnesium. Potassium is an important component of cell and body fluid that helps in controlling heart rate and blood pressure. Manganese is used by the body as a cofactor for the antioxidant enzyme. Thank you.